This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Privacy. Head on over to privacy.com slash rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E, sign up, and you'll get $5 of real human money to spend on anything you want. I said human money. Are, yes. there, are there other types? There are several extraterrestrial no, currencies. We're, we're that, not talking dog dollars, no you, cat cash. No Dogecoin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Real money. Uh, no Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Ooh, actually, that might be a... Uh, we'll talk. We'll talk. I have some in the car. Oh, okay. A little sting. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's fine, though. No. I mean, there's not much. Are you not impressed? I mean, for $10, maybe. No. Yeah. You're not impressed. Oh. I'm just saying, if we could get like double the power, we would be on to something. Why are you doing that? That's a gesture. Welcome. Are you summoning a thing? What's happening? Double hey. the power, you say? Think we have a thing for that? Put the mask down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that enough for you? Do me, do me. Oh, 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 don't do that again. Oh, why did you do that? You didn't warn me. Oh, the. That hurt. <laughs> oh. All right, we're here with Walcom S7. We're gonna take a $5 Nerf gun, $10, $10, $10, $10 so we're gonna give some credit between. where it's due. And turn it into something that hurts. Is that the goal? I, yeah, technically that is in fact the goal. Double the speed. Can't verify it did hurt. Uh, yeah, yeah, second it. Sorry about that okay, one. Okay, uh, so where do we get started? It seems kind of complicated. It's It looks complicated and it can take you a little bit, but it honestly isn't that bad. We only need really a couple of materials for this, but essentially what we're gonna be doing is replacing the barrel. So it no longer shoots these big foam balls. Instead, it's going to shoot the really cool, small, svelte foam darts. The hurdies. How do we begin? Well, first, I think you guys should get a numerical value of what your blaster is actually hitting out of the box. So I brought a thing called a chronograph, and it just measures the speed of what passes through the tube and gives you a scientific data point for that. So if you would like to load one of those rival knockouts for me, load, close breach, pull it down, push it back up. It could be right up on there. Just make sure it goes through the hole. Ah, I, I think we can do better than that. All right. So as with all good projects, you do need a couple of tools. For this one, it's not too bad. Making the breach itself would require a power tool or take you a very long time. Luckily for us, you can find the breaches pre-made. Oh. The breach itself is made out of brass, like what you'd find with like a cartridge for a firearm or something like that. Ooh, that's dangerous talk here on the YouTubes, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> Careful there. So we've got two different sizes of KNS Metals brass, and I don't know for how long we've known this works with Nerf darts, but it's been passed down through the ages, and here we are. The 1730 seconds will fit darts perfectly fine. It's a little tight, it's perfect. And then this, these 916s will actually seal over the 1736s. Airtight seal, super smooth, super nice. We're gonna basically make a breach out of that for a foam dart and then shove it, glue it, tape it into that. Let's do it. So we gotta start with taking one of these apart. So if somebody could just undo screws, every single screw but the bottom two right here. Every Except single other screw two. gone. Yeah, okay, just take right. them out. That's about the longest See? one, yep. I told you that we were really good with tools. Obviously. Yeah. Now what's the official language from Nerf on modding and so forth? Like, uh, do they do frown not. on it? Oh, do not. Do not. It says so on the blaster, do not modify. They don't like you touching them. They don't like people like us. <laughs> oh. So you think this is a good starter build for somebody who wants to get into modding? I think if you're really serious, like I want to make something that's my own, I want something that doesn't cost a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a little finicky because there are a lot of small pieces in there, but if you take the time to look at it or you watch a video online, it's pretty easy to put back together and everything. I like really that. like the customizability, how everyone can have a blaster that is unique to them. Like, oh, you wanted to put a scope on it. Exactly. Or you wanted to put uh, some brass piping or a custom breech or something like that. All right, it's what am I missing? How do I tell when all of the screws are unscrewed because they're not coming out. Only one of them. Ah, uh, you can is... try to pull it apart. Yeah. Oh God! Oh my God! See, oh my God. <laughs> you, you want some help there, buddy? He's, he's going a little Murphy on it. Oh, I was about oh, to say. No. <laughs> I, I was like, I did the right. Took the wrong job. <laughs> I start turning job. green, then we'll have a problem. Starting to get Hulk smash over here. Yeah, righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right. 
There. All right. So what, like a walnut? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I did a thing. And now it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. there's rattling. Yeah. Step away. It's <laughs> one little screw back here. Almost had it. It was good. That's a good job. Good job, though. And now we're in. So right here, we just got, this is the thing that does all of the work. You pull that down, that little piece catches on it. When you pull the trigger, it pushes the catch back. The plunger rod will snap up, build up air volume, deliver it into the barrel. It fires a thing. I'm gonna take so, your word for it. <laughs> I mean, so if I understand correctly, like the ability to build up pressure and release it is unchanged. The only thing that, that's changing is the ordinance and the tightness of the barrel. Exactly. We're not even gonna touch the spring or anything in here, which is something you can can do if you want even more power. Of course, if you have a stronger spring in there, it's harder to pull back and everything sure. like that. And there are limits. They're, they can only take so much spring abuse before they'll snap. That's probably bad. Yeah, it's, it's not fun, because then you got to do the whole process all over again or buy another one. So for this, it actually has a little stopper in here for the ball, so the ball doesn't actually get sucked down into the whole system. Mm -hmm. We gotta wanna remove that. We're gonna try with a pair of pliers here. Some of them are easier than others. It's removing the regulator. Pull out. Yes, mm. the air restrictor, as they're known. So you can't like shove like a marker down there and shoot it at your I, sister. I, you, you're not my boss. That sounds very specific. <laughs> yeah. So why are we pulling out the uh, restrictor again? Because we're going to put a, the barrel in there so it's nice up against the you know, oh. maximum airflow okay. efficiency. Because we want to make sure it uh, it hurts. Now, how many of these builds do you come up with yourself and how many do you just find online and mimic? We have a really big community and a lot of stuff gets shared around. Mm -hmm. This is one that I actually got to take a crack at before other people. And I thought like looking at the breech, it's like, wow, that fits the ball, but it only opens up like that much. But if you get one of these darts, the dart like fits perfectly. And we're actually gonna make it so that barrel will come out more. It's like it was made to do the mod what we're doing. Like somebody at Hasbro was like, yeah, somebody's gonna do this eventually. Let's throw them a bone. Cause it was designed perfectly for it. You got secret engineers. You wonder sometimes, you Hasbro. really do. So we've hollowed that out pretty good. So there's like a straight shot. And from here, we have our pre-made breach here. Somebody online made a kit, a company, 3D printed a couple of pieces out and sent it over from China. So That's where you can find pre-made ones. This, okay, so you can careful, buy them pre-made, but basically it looks like a 45 degree angle cut out and then at the end, right? Yep. That's what you would do. You basically just take a Dremel with a metal cutting wheel and just do it yourself and you do the exact same thing. So for this, we want to make it as airtight as we can. So we'll just take some tape that's covered in some kind of epoxy. It's probably, probably might be epoxy. One, somebody got it everywhere. It was me. We're just gonna wrap it okay. around the end and that's just gonna basically help us make a seal because this is the barrel itself. This part has to be airtight with the rest of this plunger tube and everything in order for us to actually be able to fire a dart. Once that's on there, when you put it in, is it gonna wedge itself airtight or? Most of the time, yes. You can also just put a little dab of super glue, or if you really want to make sure nothing's going to move, you use like an epoxy like that. That kind of rubbery glue is really good for like an airtight seal. Smells, it. smells really good. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that'll sit in there. So when we put it back in our shell here, you can kind of see that that opening is right there where that cutout is. So a dart will be able to go right in there when you open it up. Obviously that has a gigantic hole in it. If the air came out of here, it would just escape through the hole. So we have to seal that, which is what this other piece of brass is for. Oh, wow. So you'll notice that this will slide effortlessly over that and you can see how it closes around that and will make a this seal. It's starting to look an awful lot like something that begins with the letter G. I kinda, <laughs> it's, all, it's all in good fun, I assure you. So that will mesh in with the kind of automatic breach we had on these ones. So that only opens up that far. We kind of need that to open up more to be able to shove one of those okay. darts in there. So this is the actual barrel. You can see it's got stoppers on each side of it. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. And we're just literally going to cut those out. What is the purpose of the stoppers and uh, why is it better to not have them? Hasbro built it to apparently not let us do what we're going to do. Got it. But didn't do it well enough that we wouldn't have the drive to just cut them out. A lot of children running around with one eye now. <laughs> he's throwing that knife around like, 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 he's, like, he's, he's, doing. like he's never heard of the injury counter. Yeah. 
There we go. Now it smoothly opens oh, all the way up. Got it. To give you just enough room to load in one of those to darts. Load one of the darts. So then the next step in the process is we want to fit this in here mm -hmm. so that will automatically, when the barrel's pushed back, seal over that. Oh, wow. It's almost like it was meant to do it. Like they developed the system to do exactly what I'm doing. And they're like, wait, no, no, we, we can't do that. But well, we want to use we, the- We can't. We're Nerf. What? Oh, oh I'm so <laughs> conflicted about this. It's me, Ted Nerf. Oh. Ted. Oh, listen. Come on, Ted. Gary, I told you when we founded Nerf Co, I don't want anything that's going to hurt anyone ever. We're, and you're talking some dangerous talk. Hear me out, Ted. Mm. Nerf. Yeah. It's time for blood. <laughs> Gary, I, you, you know if it was just you and me, Ted. I'd be all about the blood, but remember I'm not. Remember the old days? That remember was the, the old before days. times. You were a meat-eating monster. Remember the gun that we made in Tijuana that one time? That's back when we called the company Gurf. And you guns are for real. Guns are for real. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's Garf. so good. Guns are for real. That's right. And you remember why we're not allowed in Mexico anymore? Yes, Gary, I remember. It's because you love ice cream so much that you assassinated that ice cream man because he asked for a peso. I told you the peso is the unit of currency in the country that we live in. And you said, well, I don't understand monetary policy. And then you murdered him using a GERF gun, which is why we started our brand new company, Nerf, a totally independent brand that does not make bullets. Brian, there are still ice cream men out there today. Sorry. Uh, Ted. 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 <laughs> There's still... <laughs> go on. There are still ice cream men out there, Ted. All right. We got to go to Mexico. Well, I think Cameron's on to something then. Oh, God. No, I can't do another dime. The return of Gurf. <laughs> <laughs> Gifer. 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 So we have, we need something to kind of like act as a barrel spacer kind of thing, just to make sure stuff doesn't rattle around. Mm -hmm. So this is just half inch PVC. You okay. can get it at the hardware store, it's several feet for a couple of bucks. So we're just gonna kind of. Is it effective against ice cream vendors? Potentially. Okay. So that will kind of fit in there. And we'll just use our old friend, the electrical tape. Oh, just, just to even out the yep. gap in between them. And then we're gonna use more electrical tape to center the other barrel in there. And then we just wedge it all together and it's gonna work. That Guaranteed. last part I can connect with. Cause that's, that sounds, that sounds like we're on a modern rogue episode now. We're gonna ram it all in. Oh, okay, yeah, that part, yeah. Tape it up and, and it might work. This thing already looks like threatening, right? I, I mean. I want to take it through TSA. Like, yeah. I want to hear the story about you taking it through TSA. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, it's like so freaking close. We just put a little bit of electrical tape around it, like one or two. Just kind of eyeball it until the seal is tight. Yeah, like actually, it doesn't even. It just needs to not move. Oh, okay. Yeah, this doesn't have. We already have the previous airtight. mod. This one does not need to be airtight. This is just to position it and keep yeah. it steady. I guess because most of the That's pressurization really is back here. Right. Okay. Yeah. So at this point, all we need is something to seal off the air pressure, so that when this releases. We don't lose much of the pressure, and the dart, instead of the foam ball, is what goes firing yeah, out. Yeah, it'll take the path of leaf resistance, which should be the foam dart. Yeah. And not an explosion, like a barrel obstruction. So we'll just kind of is, 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 that a, is that a possibility? Uh, if you are really dumb. <laughs> That's a possibility. Just to make this, like, it needs a little bit more power to open up the breach automatically and push that button. So we're going to actually cut this... Oh. And then we're going to try to like bend another like loop out of it. So okay. it's like a little bit shorter, has a little bit more power. So normally that thing is to what, draw back in or to pop it out or which yeah, one? Yeah, this is for to pull it forward when you release that button. But with the whole like sliding breach in there it, and it needs to go farther, it needs to have a little bit more power. Got it. So we just made our own spring. It's far superior. It is. Hear that, Gary? You excited now? <laughs> Smell it. It's like the rum raisin. Taste of blood. Pennies in the back of my mouth. Yeah. Ted still has a lot of screws to add. Let me get one screw in here so this thing doesn't fly apart on yes. you. Yes. Is that the safety on the bottom? Yeah, there's actually a safety on these. That's, hmm. a, that's a requirement somewhere. As if the 15 steps to fire the projectile wasn't <laughs> enough. The projectile that is a foam ball. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> I'm delivering laughter, and the safety's off. <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead and button All her back right. up. Would you like to screw these in? I, I, you did the first pass. I'm happy to do the next pass, Ted. I think we just made a new flavor of. <laughs> and it's okay. There's all it, all the fine, screws never go back in. If it has See, all the screws, that's what nobody's I'm ever been inside of it. IKEA rules. That's what I'm saying. There's multiple screws that still need homes. <laughs> as long as it doesn't like fly apart when you prime it. While we were talking, Brian just delicately like wiped all <laughs> yeah. the screws off the table. Finished. I think I got all the screws back in the right places. Gary, dead. I have a new flavor. Let's hear it. I'm excited. The 21 Fun Salute. <sighs> and Gary. Uh, then close Dead. it. Close it. Just get it. Just yep. There you go. Prime it. Push it back. Some ideas. Push it back. Oh God. Are too good. Safety squints. Ted. This is the end. Ted. Of Geffer. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Geffer will live on. 21 Fun Salute is mine. Down with Baskin Robbins. Medic. Damn you, son of a. <laughs> That was more satisfying than I dared hope. <laughs> oh, hold on there, Gary. What are you doing? You're I'm... not doing what I think you're doing, are you? No, I'm not. Because I'd hate to reuse this dart a I'm second a... time. Tempting to walk home. How do I open this gun? <laughs> so you're just going to go like that, buddy. Oh. And then just okay. shove that in a there. And okay. then kind of go like Thank that. Thank you. I'm about to kill my partner. Uh, You better make Gary! it quick, man. Dad! Wait. Oh, can you duct tape this to my back? Like, never mind, too much time. Okay. Oh! I'm a man of honor, Gary. You were a man of honor, Ted. I would never shoot first. Oh, yeah! Ah! Ah! And I'm a modern ah! rogue. Ah! Ah! You're gonna be okay. You're gonna, it's the end of Reservoir Dogs. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> we'll play Abomination someday. Was it uh, was good. Tim Roth? That was good, yeah. yeah. Uh, you okay. sold it. Okay, good. That was good. Yeah. All right. Who wants ice cream? Oh, yeah. Deadly accurate at like five feet. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. <laughs> Walcom, where can we find more of your stuff, sir? Right here on YouTube at Walcom S7. So that'd be youtube.com forward slash Walcom S7, W A L C O M S7. Quick question. Yo. Got any ideas for uh, ice creams? What's. Uh, it's uh, Nerth or Nutton. So it's like foam darts blended with, with like some nuts in it. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's great. You're hired. That's good. Oh. All right, there. Oh, let's okay. go celebrate. Yeah. Scoops on me. Oh, thank God. Ah! <laughs> I have a real life horror story that visited me again today. 18 months. Candyman. After. I have two okay. very good horror <laughs> stories. In this case, there was a service, uh, I'm not gonna say what mm, internet provider it was, but it rhymes with schmeckdrum. And uh, I switched over from the residential service to the business service in February of 2020. That was a long time ago. Correct. I made the mistake of linking the bill to my credit card. Mm -hmm. So for 10 months no. after I quit, no. they kept on charging. Then. For months after the service was already over, they got, we don't understand why this credit card doesn't work anymore. Because I had changed credit cards and then they kept on billing. I am now getting collections phone calls for a service that they fraudulently, not talking to you, Spectrum. You're one of the good ones. Schmectrum. Schmectrum. They're real They're pieces of sphincter. But the point is, I'm now at the point where I'm about to have to file like a lawsuit. I'm about to have to go to small claims court over this because I was too dumb and linked my actual card. Look I should have been using privacy. Look at me, this is my disappointed face. You should have been using privacy. Your disapproval is not making this easier for me. How about this? You knew better, Brian. Yeah. You could have used privacy to control your monthly bills, to set monthly limits on your spending, to uh, give you some anonymity. You could have said, you know what? 
guess what? Boom, this card only works once. And then they wouldn't have had you by the short and curlies for the last, what, 10 months? 18 months. 18 months, because you didn't use privacy to protect your finances and to not let little secret things keep bleeding away. And the worst part is they're still bothering me about the extra money that they weren't able to charge under the card that they were already fraudulently charging after I had canceled the service. I'm fine, I'm fine, oh. I'm fine. There are no fees to privacy, there's anonymity, you can control it and set up uh, spending limits per month or a one-time limit. Tie it to individual vendors. You can tie it to individual vendors. You could have done all that and prevented this whole fiasco, but you didn't. You and I'm so disappointed in you, Brian. The worst part is I also could have gotten $5 free if I had just gone and yeah. signed up at privacy.com slash rogue. Yeah. R-O-G-U-E, $5 of real dollars. Real money. It would have been simple as hell to click the plugin on the browser to generate a one-time use card tied to the vendor with a spending limit, yeah. and I wouldn't be dealing with this. Yeah. Get $5 of free money, learn how to use this thing that Brian is apparently just too lazy to use, and now he's got to go to court? And this big cup, he's got to fight. This didn't have to happen. However disappointed you are, I'm more disappointed in myself. <laughs> so this is tender area, privacy.com slash rogue. Yeah. Your children are ashamed of you as well. One of them nope, called nope, me earlier nope, and nope. said. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Offer and link in the description below. Gary, Dead. we wanted to be ice cream artists. Why did we develop a projectile company. Ted? <laughs> yes, Gary? Because those smug Baskin Robbins sons of bitches. <laughs> Why do you always do this to me? I'm gonna go to a Baskin Robbins <laughs> no. right after this episode, and, and I'm gonna use this thing if I can figure out how to work it again. Gary? Can you bring me back a milkshake at least? Oh, are you on their side? <laughs> I just, ice cream sounds wonderful.